this question of what happens to Australia, whether it becomes a republic, is obviously it's not going to go away. Many people think it's inevitable. Hugh Jackman was recently quoted, one of your great national heroes, saying it's inevitable. You voted in the 1999 referendum in favour of a republic and said it's inevitable. Everybody accepts that. But that referendum came back 55% against, 45% uh, saying yes to a republic. My first question, are you going to have another referendum while you're Prime Minister? My uh, sole priority that I've put forward uh, for constitutional change is to recognise Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people in our constitution and to listen to them through a, a voice, what's called a voice, essentially that they be consulted on matters that affect them. And that's a referendum that will hold between October and December. Uh, that's my timetable. Uh, I'm not looking beyond that. Uh, I think that Australia should have uh, an Australian as our head of state. I don't shy away from that. I haven't changed my views. Uh, but my priority is constitutional recognition. I can't imagine uh, going forward, for example, as was suggested, has been suggested by some legitimately, that uh, we should be having another referendum on the Republic uh, before that occurs. For me, uh, the, the, the absolute priority is, but once you've done is that, that recognition. Right, but once you've done that, it would be odd for somebody who's such a die-hard Republican as you, notwithstanding your respect for the key players in the royal family and the monarchy, which you've shown in this interview already. Notwithstanding that, it would be very odd, wouldn't it, if you were a Prime Minister and you didn't want another referendum? I mean, otherwise, what's been the point of posing it all this time? Well, look, I, I, I think at some stage in the future, uh, that will occur. Uh, would but, you like it to happen but under your tenure? What I don't want to do is to be a Prime Minister who presides over just constitutional debates. Mm. And that's, yeah, but they're big that, debates. Th and that's why they are. Mm. They are, but so is dealing with the challenge of climate change, mm. getting an economy that works for people, making more things in Australia, engaging in our region uh, to restore our relationships is one of the tasks that, that I've had as Prime Minister. Uh, so I've said quite clearly that that's my priority. Uh, you'll, you'll know because there'll be a feeling from the bottom up as well. A, a, a demand for uh, another another vote isn't something that can be imposed from the top because it won't be successful. Uh, when that, that demand is there, I'm sure a vote will be held. How close to that feeling do you think Australia is? Because the polls uh, have been I, all over the place. I, 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 I don't see it as being imminent. But if you were to win a second term, potentially you could I, have a referendum. Well, I don't see it as being imminent. You're being very diplomatic here, Prime Minister. Is that because you're here for a monarchy which many of your supporters would be like, well, hang on, you've come here to London to watch a king being crowned at the head of an institution that you just don't agree with? No, but part of, part of the job of being the Australian Prime Minister is to represent all Australians, mm. uh, not just to uh, put forward my own views, which are clearly there, but it is important that the Australian Prime Minister and the Governor-General and all of the Governors, and we have some prominent Australians uh, coming along as, as well on Saturday. Sam Kerr, yeah. great footballer. Yeah. Uh, she will be the flag bearer on, on Saturday and, and I chose her, put her forward. I thought that was a really appropriate thing to do, someone who's a, a, a young, dynamic, uh, Australian sportswoman uh, who hopefully will lead us to World Cup glory uh, in uh, the Women's World Cup that's, uh, that's coming up, being hosted in Australia in a couple of months' time. Uh, so, so what are you going to do in Westminster Abbey when you are urged to say the oath of allegiance I do, to King Charles? I, I do that every term. No, I know, but are you going to say it in the Abbey with I, the world's cameras watching? I, I, I will do what's entirely appropriate as the representative of Australia, which is Australians made a choice in 1999. And one of the things that you've got to do is to accept democratic outcomes. Uh, we made that choice mm. and uh, I will 
uh, certainly uh, engage in that spirit. So you uh, will say the oath. As I have. Uh, as I have done ten times uh, when no, I, no, I get I sworn that, into Parliament. But, it, yes. but just to be clear, in the Abbey, there's been confusion over whether you will. As the Prime Minister of Australia in the Abbey as on the, Saturday, you will say the oath. As, as the Prime Minister of Australia, it's expected that, that I will do that. Uh, but that doesn't mean, of course, that uh, Australians don't have uh, a wide range of views. And it's also the case that, as Australian Prime Minister... I'm accountable to the Australian people. I mean, that, that's who I serve and I have that great honour.